should they find these? Look at this one still has straps on it. The one they lowered. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my fall series, a little vlogtober. I've realized that that's kind of what I'm doing, kind of like a vlogtober weekend edition. And I think it's so fun to just like take you guys along all of my fall weekends in October. Obviously I am not at home right now. Colin and I are in Cottonwood, Arizona. We are here for our anniversary trip. We had our seven year anniversary on Thursday. So we thought that it would be fun to just do a little trip to celebrate, nothing too crazy. Cottonwood is really close to Phoenix. It's only about like a two and a half hour drive. We started the morning by going to Sedona and then we did a really nice hike this morning at Bell Rock. And then we came straight over to Cottonwood. We've been here before and there was a really good barbecue place that we liked last time. So we headed over there and got some lunch. And then our hotel room should have been ready a little bit earlier, but they did call us and said that they were running late with cleaning the room. So we just kind of like hung out, went to all the different shops on Main Street. And then we also popped in a couple wineries and did some wine tasting. We were planning on doing that after we stopped at the hotel and freshened up a little bit because obviously we were super just like dusty and sweaty from going on our hike but that's okay it is finally ready now i think this hotel is really new it's called the tiawaki inn and it's literally five minutes down the street from main street in cottonwood it's really really nice it's very new and it literally feels like we're in like a brand new home build in like a faraway suburb or something that's what it feels like it might be one of the nicer hotels that we've ever stayed in honestly but just in terms of like because it's so new and it's also really big i think this is possibly bigger than a bedroom or at least the same size which is kind of rare for a hotel room i feel like they always like feel a little bit smaller anyways i'll give you guys a really quick room tour also colin is here hey, hey. <laughs> he's just sitting in the background watching me talk to myself and we are just so excited to be here spend a fall weekend and the weather has been super beautiful it was so nice for our hike this morning it was like what like 85 or 90 degrees I think and it was like perfect hiking weather so for the rest of the night We are just gonna go get dinner There's actually this new winery that is new within like the last year Which we haven't been here in like about a year and a half So it is definitely new to us We think that we're gonna stop over there for dinner and get a couple glasses of wine and then maybe check out some of the Other wineries on Main Street that we haven't gone to yet and just have a really chill night Okay, one thing with the room tour though is that there are three out of the four lights do not work. And I don't know if that's just because this place is so new. Maybe they didn't even put light bulbs in. I'm not sure, but they don't work. So there's not a lot of lighting in here. Okay, so I feel like you can tell from just like the flooring and like the white walls and the molding, like this little just looks like a house, not like a hotel room. And it's also super echoey because there are no like carpets or anything, but this is our closet over here. We do have a fridge and a microwave, which is really nice because we have some leftovers from lunch. And then this is the bathroom. It's really nice. We have a really cute mirror, and then a really nice like shower. We just took showers and freshened up, which felt so good after our hike today. And then if we come into the room, we got a little bench here. I was just sitting here doing a little work on my computer. We got the TV and then we got the bed. It's a nice, really big bed. Guys, this room is so big. I am not used to having a hotel room this big. And then we do have, honestly, a really nice view. There's like this cute little patio down here and then you can see a little bit of the mountains out here. So it's really nice. There are shades, don't worry. We will be pulling those down in a little bit, but we're about to head out. So yeah, it's just like a really nice view over here. Pretty simple, nothing crazy. It definitely does need like a rug or something to soak up some of the sound because it is very echoey, but that's okay. We're only staying here for one night. Okay, this is my outfit for the night. I just went super casual, but I did just get this shirt from Hollister. Okay, I've been checking out Hollister recently and they have some really cute stuff and I made sure to get it while it was on sale. I never pay full price for anything. Anytime that I want something that is new from a store, I just wait for it to go on sale or I wait for like the store to have like a 20% off site wide or something and then I snag it up and I think it is so cute. Just wearing it with some jeans. It's really nice weather outside so I don't need to worry about like being too hot or anything. And I'm just realizing that I start so many videos with my hair being wet so I promise I will try not to do that anymore but I swear I just like start a video after I've like freshened up after doing a workout or something and yeah we are here with wet hair once again. 
So I think I'm going to dry my hair, as long as it's a hair dryer. I actually didn't check yet. And then we are going to head out for dinner. I'm so excited. <laughs> get ready for the day. Last night we went to, I think the restaurant's called Bochi and we got some really good pizza and meatballs. And then we headed over to that winery that's on the hilltop. I think it's called Merkin Vineyards. And honestly, the wine was not very good. It was just way too sweet. We just went there to like try the wine though because we had already had dinner. And then we got some gelato to go. And honestly, we were so tired and so full that we didn't even really eat it. <laughs> So it's currently in the fridge right now and I might have a couple scoops before breakfast. We're gonna go to breakfast in Cottonwood. We saw some cute options yesterday. So we're gonna check that out and then we're gonna come back here, pack up the hotel room and go and do another hike in Sedona. Today I really wanna do Seven Sacred Pools. It's a hike that I've looked up before and it looks really cute and also really easy. It's like a one mile in and back. So I think that makes it two miles and our hike yesterday was two miles and it was like the perfect length. So we're just gonna have another fun day hanging out outside up north and and we're gonna get some lunch after, probably walk around Sedona a little bit and head home. A pretty quick trip, but I think that we're getting in everything that we wanted to do, which is really nice. So I came to the sudden realization that it might not be 90 degrees outside. So thank goodness we brought sweatshirts because it is actually 60 degrees. It has been a long, hot summer here in Phoenix, so I'm excited to go outside and it be a little cold out. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Here's the view from the back of our hotel. It's really pretty, so peaceful out here. This is actually a really nice hotel. They have all of these cute seating areas out here. We could have come out here for a little fire pit last night, but we were so tired. All right, we're officially back from breakfast and packing up the room, and now it's time to go on our hike in Sedona. We're definitely gonna stop at a grocery store on the way though and get some water bottles because we need to hydrate on this trip. It's always so hard to have ample water when you're staying in a hotel room. Usually we like to stop at a grocery store beforehand and just like keep a gallon in the room, but we forgot to do that this time. So we're gonna pop in the grocery store and get some on the way. Saying goodbye to this beautiful view. This is what it looks like in full daylight. Honestly, I have really liked this hotel so far, minus the late check-in. And we did figure out that this hotel opened July 1st of this year, so it's been open for not even four months, which is crazy. I knew that it was brand new, but that is like, so new. I'm pretty sure I was the first one to ever use this hair dryer in this room because it still had like the original twist tie around the cord. So it's kind of fun staying in a brand new hotel room. Is that your hiking fit for the day? Yep. Ready to go? Yep. <laughs> back home now it's a few hours later i got home and immediately showered because we did not shower after our hike obviously we had to drive home it was definitely a shorter hike and we could have done longer but at that point the other trail that was on the seven sacred pools trail was going to be like four and a half miles and we were not down for that long of a hike so we just decided to call it and go home we were going to have lunch in town but we were still pretty full from breakfast and we honestly just wanted to get home so we had some lunch as soon as we got here took a shower we already went grocery shopping too and now i'm getting started on meal prep. This week I'm going to make my breakfast burritos again because those are super super easy to make and then I'm also going to do salad kits with chicken for lunch. Super easy meal prep but I am so glad that we came home at a decent time that we could go grocery shopping and have time for meal prep for the week because nothing is worse than when you come home on a Sunday really late in the evening after a trip and you're starting a full work week and you have like no time to prep at all. So this is like my ideal way to come back from a vacation where I still have like half the day left. We just had the best time this weekend honestly so 
much fun and it was just like really chill which it's really nice to like have that balance between like vacations where it's like a whole thing and you go somewhere versus like just a little driving trip up north so easy i'm so glad that we had this weekend away and it was perfect weather especially up north where it's a little bit cooler than phoenix it was just really nice to escape the heat for a little bit and be on vacation mode and of course we were celebrating our seven year anniversary so it was just really nice to actually celebrate and do something can you stop opening every cabinet in the house i also need to get up my clothes for tomorrow packing my work outfit and picking out a workout outfit for the morning we went on some hikes this weekend but i am still fully ready to jump back into the gym and do a nice weightlifting session i also need to show you guys this super cute little plate that i got at one of the like vintage thrift stores there we were just walking around all the different stores and i saw this really cute shell plate like oh my gosh it's just so perfect and I feel like it matches my aesthetic perfectly. And it was only a couple bucks too. I'm obsessed. Mm -hmm. 